What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my King's Fall Raid loot from this past weekend. So this past weekend was the first weekend we got to experience the new King's Fall Raid and it was a really fun experience, I enjoyed it a lot. I love the new encounters and I love the boss fights as well, they're all very challenging and require a lot of teamwork and communication and just working well together with your fire team so it's a really fun experience you can't solo the raid this time around and it's very fun to do with a bunch of your friends so I encourage you guys to go ahead and try it out if you guys haven't tried it out yet it's a lot of fun and today I'm gonna show you guys what I got on my warlock that I did the raid with so I'm still working on completing my other two characters in terms of leveling them up to the appropriate light level so I can run the raid multiple times per week from here on out and try to get more good rewards from the raid uh, so we can prepare for when the hard mode comes out whenever that happens as well so I'm very excited to play more of the raid and try to get some newer drops and some loot but I'm gonna show you guys what I got this time around so Let's get into it. So I wasn't able to pick up too many rewards from my first run of the raid, but I was able to get a gun and an armor piece. So for my weapon, I ended up getting this machine gun called Quillum's Terminus, and it came with 310 attack on it, which was pretty ridiculous. I don't know if 310 is one of the highest attack values that you can get off of a raid drop, but I did end up getting really lucky and getting a 310 machine gun. Uh, the base stats are really excellent. There's high rate of fire, high impact as well, and the stability is very good as well. Um, so it comes with linear compensator, accurized ballistics, and field choke. And uh, it doesn't really alter the stats too much when you uh, switch between these, so I just stuck with this one. And it comes with the Cocoon perk, which I believe all the raid weapons come with. So it comes with this, which says, When stowed for a short time, this weapon is automatically reloaded from your reserves. And I think this perk is super amazing. Like, this perk is excellent. I love it so much. The fact that I can just DPS the boss and switch to another gun and then switch back to this after a short period of time. I'm not sure how many seconds it is, but it's like around maybe... 5 to 10 seconds I'm guessing, you switch back to this gun or any of your raid guns and it's fully reloaded for you and you can start damaging again with the same gun. So I think this is super amazing, it definitely helps you maximize your damage on the boss fights and stuff like that and it's super good, I love this perk so much. And then we got extended mag, lightweight and small bore is what I got. Um, I didn't want to use small bore just because I didn't want to reduce the magazine size because uh, I believe it starts with, uh, th so it goes to 31, I'm not sure what it starts, I think it was 35 is what it is without any of the extended mag or small bore on it. So yeah, it's 35, and I mean 31 is not that big of a difference. It does also lower the reload speed, but again with this perk I don't really reload it, so maybe I'll use small bore, but I kind of like the extended mag just to have more ammo uh, so I can deal even more damage at a time. And then the last perk I got is Army of One. I'm not sure if the last perk is random for every drop. I think it is though. But mine came with Army of One, which is quick unassisted kills with this weapon, reduced grenade, and melee cooldown, which is okay. Not the greatest perk though. And also it has Will of Light, which is also on all the guns. And it says this weapon deals bonus damage against taken enemies. So really good for the raid. Really good for anything like Quarter Oryx even or any big... Uh, PVE encounters and uh, I really love this machine gun I, I hope you guys are able to pick it up as a drop because I think this machine gun is excellent it's super good I love it and then for armors I was able to get a pair of gauntlets for my warlock called the grasp of the ear and it came with 307 defense on it it came with discipline strength which I wish was intellect instead of strength but I can't really be choosy because this is one of my highest pieces of armor to boost my light level right now so Hopefully later I can get a better piece of gauntlets from the raid, but it comes with increased discipline and strength like usual, and then it comes with receive bonus melee energy for each enemy standing nearby you when you get a kill, and also increased melee attack speed. It also comes with sniper rifle a loader, and the special raid perk is called buddy system, which says faster weapon reload while you're in an aura. So 
this works out really well actually for a lot of the encounters like the boss battles where you're standing in an aura with all your teammates and dealing damage or doing DPS to the boss. Uh, so it's really good actually, it's helpful. Reload faster and then you can deal more damage during that phase of damage during boss battles. So I like this a lot. I think it's a pretty good pair of gauntlets as well. I just wish my stats were a little bit better. So those are the two pieces of the gear I was able to get from the raid. Hopefully I can get more lucky the next time around and get some other armor pieces or even a ghost shell because my ghost is not really that high light right now but anyways thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys received from the raid i'm gonna work on leveling up my other characters so i can get more raid rewards and i'll show you guys what i ended up getting or end up getting in the future when we run more raids but that's about it thank you guys for watching once again i will catch you guys next time and peace